Hi folks, we continue with our coverage of the 8th Regents tournament. So in round 7, Martel is playing against Stark and we have some recordings to catch up with. And uh, so this one is uh, a little bit special. So uh, <laughs> we have uh, Katarina's game against Anti and I have a couple of different recordings. So uh, it was played at the same time as uh, Buki's game. So we're going to start with uh, uh, this recording that Urs provided us, but uh, then I'll switch to um, another one in the middle of the video. You'll see when that happens, so apologies in advance. So uh, let's click play on this one. So it's 2-1 uh, in favor of uh, Martel at this point, and this is game 4, but it's really um, was played at the same time as game 3, so we didn't know the result yet uh, ahead of uh, this game. And uh, so what do we have? We already have some misclicks and stuff, but uh, uh, what's um, the situation? So it's p the prince that was promised and the prince is Caitlyn, one of the Caitlyns. And it's green side for Martel. Well, we're kind of stuck with uh, some agendas that are not the best for the last round. So that's just reality. Usually, I would assume, um, usually I would assume that uh, it's prince... Um... Caitlyn is the pet cat, right? But uh, we saw in World Cup Prince called Caitlyn. <laughs> so one was discarded for green side. Um, if we uh, could see the discard bias, we would see which Caitlyn it was. I think it was the seven cost, right? Hmm. It's not really a spoiler because we should know at this point. I don't remember. Uh, it was. <laughs> so it's uh, we have um, Hollow Hill, uh, not Hollow Hill. Sorry. Um, yeah, we do have Hollow Hill uh, for Martel. So Hollow Hill and Econ, and we have uh, House and Escort, which is one of the characters that works really well with Green Sight. It's uh, there are not a lot of them that uh, just naturally work, but he is one of them. And Angui, uh, and on the other side we have actually Starry Sept and. Uh, couple of uh, not very significant characters uh, but there's some, something in shadows as well which could be um, annoying I've never known Stark to put anything in shadows that was not extremely annoying so I wonder what it is small folk mob is like the best case scenario but uh, more likely it's a Mira or uh, something equally annoying okay so we have some connection problems um, which means we missed some of the marshalling. Uh, we go with uh, Ghost of High Heart and Edric. Well, not bad from our side and uh, some more Econ, uh, but the other side does um, get Caitlyn into play, so that's not fun. Uh, what's with uh, Arya's dupe? I think she's being marshaled. Oh, she's being marshaled right now. Hasn't triggered yet. Mm -hmm. One gold is left for Edric, and we still have Water Gardens, which can reduce something by zero, because we didn't open behest. Okay, yeah, Urs did mm -hmm. tell me that he had some connection problems in uh, in this one. Uh, it's about twelve more minutes, uh, and then we switch <laughs> to uh, what Connor recorded after uh, book is game finished. So it's nightmares on Caitlyn. Which means no Edric this round. Mm -hmm. But um, wants to kill something without giving Caitlyn power. Um, I don't know yeah, about that. I yeah. think uh, there's maybe a more um, a better opportunity for that, I guess. But um, military is easy to push right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. <laughs> Caitlyn goes to the bottom, but surely Caitlyn... Oh, maybe she's the only card in the discard pile. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you... Uh, you get more chance to draw her naturally if the deck is shuffled. 
but the agenda trigger can fetch her from anywhere. Yeah. Now is she going to defend the hand now, Caitlin? No. Just opposes. And Bran is uh, not the worst hit, he uh, self-sacrifices, also sacrifices uh, for air to find more annoying stuff like Wyman Menderley. Yeah, it might be Villa now that goes, so... Mm -hmm. Must say I strongly dislike the Fat Cut decks. Seems like they play a different game, they, they gain power, whatever you do, and the only way to beat them is to <clears throat> aggro them away. But I don't know if Martel has the tools to do that. Uh, has to defend to stop the win by 5. It's probably gonna defend anyway, right? And that's not the worst start for Stark. I do wonder what we have for uh, resets in this game. Are we gonna trigger the hollow heal is the question. Mm -hmm. no, no, seven reserve, five cards in hand. These are misses that uh, can cost you. So Stark could play in a fat cat deck a uh, wildfire, but um, I don't like that as the only reset. But... Yeah, it's uh, very plausible. Um, the other option is Murgulis probably because um, you want to kill some. And. Uh, that is played now. Mm. Well, she gets to so. It's not the worst, but... Yeah, she's not going anywhere now, that's the problem. Yeah, I mean... But, uh... It would be tempting to try and get something uh, that you also get to sacrifice and... Um, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, body out. What are we doing with the superior claim and lay waste is the question. We draw them. No, we discard them. Okay, superior claim was um, very possibly going to be triggered for more power. Lay waste also yeah, actually I mean, could have been played on star recept at some point. But I think lay waste... Um, Starry Seft, you get, I don't know, Northern Armory or even Chicago scene, and then um, power is the same as just discarding, um, uh, discarding uh, superior claim, right? What about that? Yeah. River run also, I think. Yeah, of course. Probably there. Okay, so we have nine gold uh, and the uh, king's road, so we can marshal a lot, but uh, have to marshal either something that kills a lot or something that gains power quickly than Stark will. Yeah, intimidate um, works, right? Does it? 
Well, I don't know what happens in the meantime, but... Don't actually have connection problems, it's just thinking time here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> milk and Caitlin. Milk is very good. That's what we needed. Now the dupe is not that great. <laughs> exactly. And... Oh. Um... Interesting, so could have risked yeah. trying to just kill her before milking her. I wonder if it would have actually wouldn't have worked because yeah, she has a dupe, I so it would take an additional round. And also there's um there's study seven there if uh, you're mm -hmm. in crisis. Yeah, and Mira and Shadows, right? Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I mean could also be mob or could even be Skagos, right? And we have a shadow card now. Unfortunately it's not Queen's Guard. Yeah, I was gonna say Queen's Guard would be nice. I also have the Edrigal this time. What does Martel have in shadows usually? So okay, something that's thematic to some decks, the the sense thing stuff. And the uh, icon control is not probably going to be in this one. <laughs> Seems like pinch could be though. Yeah, I mean, Pinch, you can you really can't Stark being weak on Intrigue, but with Caitlyn actually not so much. More stuff marshaled into Shadows. <coughs> but if you do have Pinch, you can for sure trigger it. Mmm. Okay. So it's good. So he can fetch what Bran and we, we Villa. We know there's Bran there. Yeah. Villa still in play. Sorry, Bran. Yeah. Villa's in play. A reducer, I think, is in the Discord or in the dead pile. Bran doesn't marshal Bran, so uh, the two gold is going to be for Shadows. Mira. <laughs> Are we just doing military? Probably we want to do successful military though, so we can just do it with um, Angui. We do it with two of them and it's enough. But you're spending power icons, so... Yeah. Yeah, pinch. Imagine having pinch in shadows and this board. So, Summer you can't pinch anyway, but it would be terrible. Arya, if you pinch her, she comes back with the dupe, and Caitlyn comes back without the milk. Yeah, I mean, if you have pinch, it's probably not the best, but, um, you know, Sex has a bit shit position in terms of econ, I think. I mean, was it made in first round? I yeah. guess so. Uh. For Stark? Yeah. I don't remember. Looks like it because uh, uh, initiative is 3. Yeah, initiative is 3, yeah. So Jukan is blanked, which means the kill effect won't happen, but he should win military alone anyway. Yes. And what and do you claim? Um, Caitlyn yeah. do probably. Okay, how many winter plots? Because Mbina is going to be annoying. There's almost certainly a winter festival, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe the stupid um, time for wolves. Yeah, I mean, that's also likely because with the Caitlyn, you want to sacrifice a lot, you want to fetch summer. Then you can try to recur summer with um, Kagos, I suppose. It takes the Caitlyn dupe for military. <laughs> what else can we do? One 
want to defend the win by five. I think you need to pass, but I guess it depends on what you try to win. Okay, so it we have. Be, um... Um, uh, just sorry to interrupt you. We we're going to switch now to um, the other recording. I think that um, Connor provided us. Uh, let's do that. Oh, okay. Hopefully that all worked correctly. Okay, now we can see all the cards, but they're slightly tinier and shouldn't get any more uh, disconnections from this point on. Okay, what's the action? Edric, presumably. Yeah. I have to do it before you pass the window. Yeah, if you start Caitlyn, would need to defend with the other two to win on defense. Also, start Vila instead, and okay, start Caitlyn. Question is, how valuable is the hand, and are you going to get draw from the agenda? You are going to get mm -hmm. draw from the agenda if you really want it. Although draw from yeah. the agenda, I mean, um, ghost is also there. But kind of, uh, mm -hmm. she's already in place. So, uh, if Caitlyn wasn't here and you're trying to draw her with the agenda, we've seen that. Okay, this deck maybe not so much, but uh, Greyjoy Prince that tries to get Balon and wins the by five, and then you you have Ghost and you get rid of Balon or. I played against that with Seen in Flames available and stuff like that. Um, it's um, not that fun to have these cards that are then discarded on demand. But here she's kind of already in play. You can uh, just uh, do the normal draw with her. Don't need to search for additional copies of her, especially now that she's milked. <laughs> Brands lost again. Yeah. Not sure if you care about that because of I don't know if that's an event heavy deck. Not the fastest game by the way, so almost 20 minutes in and it's 2-2 uh, two -two and we are in round 2. Okay, so what's coming back? This is coming back, leaves Ghost standing to do the action. Ooh, losing Tormund. Not fun, could have been good. We have Hollow Hill, we can search for Torments. Yeah, maybe now's the time to check for superior claim. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have kindly men. Okay, so we're gonna defend the win by five. And kindly men can put tokens on other stuff, but uh, it's already pretty well um, tokened this board. To get yeah, summer. and um, he had Mira, so he didn't have to spend the power from Starry Septim. He's gonna have another one, so... I don't think Zorman's gonna be doing stuff. Are we using Ghost? No. No, this time you are using Power of Hilda. Mm, yeah, good prediction. <laughs> I think you're a, a few seconds ahead now. Okay, I think I'm a little behind you. But, um... So, what are we finding? 
I would get a tournament or <clears throat> maybe Lady Stoneheart. That would be pretty good. Lady Stoneheart would be nice, yes. If you're going for uh, the non oil stuff, which clearly is the case. Ooh, and that's exactly what happens. Well, well, well. Well, uh, she can be stopped in, uh, in different ways, though, which is annoying. Star Sept and um, and Mira timing works out okay, so yeah. Yeah, but now you're having to blank both Mira and uh, Mira. <laughs> you have to blank both um, uh, Lady Stoneheart and Jacan, and that's not so good. Yeah, maybe, maybe you do, or maybe you don't. You can absorb some some Lady Stoneheart triggers, especially when resets haven't played been played yet. And you can well, okay, you can. You probably don't want to absorb. No, because Caitlyn can absorb you can in this case. Although milked Caitlyn in play is better than some recycled Caitlyn that comes in and starts gaining power. Mm. There is the festival. Mm -hmm. Festival and we have City Besieged to claim our well. And there is some intimidate on Lady Stoneheart, right? So now you can probably um, threaten. But do you have any more? No, you're going to force the blanking here, right? Because uh, you can't do you can and to claim military to follow. You have to stop that. Uh, but. Um... Will you have money for the Lady Stoneheart? No, not with what's in play at the moment. Begging Brother and Darkstar. Begging Brother oh, is annoying. Is a, is a different Darkstar, okay. I think we have to get rid of that. Hmm. So, seeing Peggy Brother in there, I think they will also play the warrior at some point and made was opening. But if there is a Peggy Brother, maybe no one um, to support. Uh, no what? Uh, no more month guys, you know, Bell Island Scouts and such things. Ah, oh, okay. Which kind of makes sense because you can't have Daisy as a backup in Prince. I think Prince really sucks for starting with Precious <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it must be difficult that because all the random mid cost 4 and 5 characters just every noun. Exactly. So it sucks when you have to play Prince. <clears throat> Imagine having Jason Malister in, in Stark and Baratheon has Andrew Estremont. I mean, I think Andrew Estremont would be a direct comparison though to um, Jory Cassell. <laughs> Jory Cassell, yeah. Jory Cassell is better, to be fair. Although, well, he gains power potentially, Andrew now does as well, so... But Jory Cassell yes. works on, just by himself, where Andrew needs another... But character. Andrew can be repeated more, right? Mm, sure. I mean, if if a game goes in a way that Andrew is being triggered uh, repeatedly, something is is weird. I bet that Bar is losing. It's not bad to it's not bad to absorb to double claim stuff, right? Okay, so we have Varamir and we have a secret pact. Um, that's not bad. Varamir can get intimidate. Arya is not going to take back with her stealth. So now we we are doing all right. On the board at I'm the moment. The draw. No. Still have that hollow hill to keep um, to keep the cards even with the threat of resets. Oh. So Marshall Skagos, so there's Mira in Shadow Sand. Should we get small folk mob? You can now um, Skagos Caitlyn to get her unmilked. 
Ja. One's in well, the disco pile now, though. So, okay, but Vila can uh, put her back. But was in the deck. Okay, he's not gonna mm -hmm. waste any time with that plan. So here comes Caitlyn back. Of um, three gold left. So Mira and one Skagos. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to Skagos now. Because want to defend some challenges. Yeah, although Summer is alright with Skagos. Comes back without the token as well. Amber Loyalist yeah. kind of has some synergy with Skagos. Yeah, it's kind of like a gold mine. But um, I don't want to suffer too much double claim. I try to defend at least some things if possible. So Varimir takes the Intimidate. Which is that not makes sense. the worst thing, so to claim military plus something ends up knelt. The big one of course is the two claim power that needs to happen because Stark is uh, gonna go from 5 to 7 with the Winter Festival guaranteed. Yeah, and if there is a claim pushed through, uh, if there is claim pushed through, you get a power on Caitlyn now and that's two powers, if there's two flame, I don't know if you... I think mm -hmm. that's a bit risky, but maybe one. And if it is not claim, then you still can scuggle something. So let's say it's already eight without even winning challenge, so... Yeah, but then something gets intimidated and you can surely push the two claim power and two claim intrigue. Yeah, I mean, there's some potential boosts from Shadows if there is a um, mob, right? That's a full strength guy to defend power. Yeah, power is the weakest and there's no gold for Edric. <laughs> well, yes, I mean, you have to, right? Um, you have to reduce the board. Yeah, so I mean... Caitlyn's gonna get two power, but you could reduce the you board and then you do that. power claim. I, I, I don't think the best uh, situation against Caitlyn is to aggro as much as possible. If the deck has fat cat has ways to sacrifice characters in their own, so if you kill them, you're better off. Especially if you know there's Skagos available. Of course, of course you do military. It's gonna go Intrigue first. Well, Jaken gets the kill if this goes through, that's the thing, so... He needs to be blanked first, okay. He's a big power icon, though. Does not defend, okay. Just gonna do challenges with whatever is left at the end, try to get some more power. <laughs> Brand, Brand. <laughs> Brand can't catch a break, and there was superior claim. I don't think <laughs> it's triggerable this round that much. It seems difficult, but okay. Now you have to go military, then you see what's left on the board. He can win alone, right? Um, almost the guy, uh, Varamir, is, um, has um, Angui with him by default, so that's nine. That's already enough, unless there's a small folk mob. But then everyone would need to defend just to, to win on defense, and you can win power then, right? And not suffer anything back.
Here we go. Now we start going to try to do something against this, or is it just gonna mm. happen? Okay, gives this the power doesn't away. Work. Yeah. Can't blank um, lasting effects like that. So he still has intimidate. And mm -hmm. plus strength. That would be a big uh, mistake, right? Because. Not branching something else. I mean, okay, Jacan could have been blanked, but uh, apart from Angui, uh, they don't really. Uh, I guess Ghost. I mean, Ghost drops some strength. Well, yeah, you're not blanking something else and you're losing power, right? So. Okay, so what gets claimed? If Summer is going to get claimed without opposing, then he should have really scuggled him. So, uh, dupe and we the mentally goes. Well, let's get the humble loyalist. Yeah. Intimidate does still work. I mean, could be costly in the long run for Stark to lose that one power because uh, Stark's uh, potentially going to lose board state uh, pretty rapidly, and uh, but it, it does gain power in the process just when that's happening and uh, could could make a difference between uh, 14 and 15 at uh, some point. Yes, Mira though. Why not near the power icon? You know what? I think Brotherhood would work better with <laughs> this deck. Yeah, it is basically a Brotherhood deck, but uh, we don't have that anymore. <laughs> Use them up. Use them up pretty well, to be fair. But yeah. I think should have nailed the, the, the power icon though. Have to attack with, yeah, have to attack with f f um, seven basically, just just uh, on the off chance that there's a small folk mob. And that's um, a big commitment, so gambling that there isn't one. But of course there is. Mm, and now to claim power is... isn't happening. That yeah. Was the most important one, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you get power from Star Deception defense as well, so. Right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to lose this to win power on defense. Thang we can oppose. Somehow don't think dupes will matter, so we can sack the dupe or <laughs> keep running out of gold for Edric, I guess. But he's useful.
Only 18 minutes left, it's not the fastest game. have to lose this one, you have to defend power, I think. Yeah. Especially well, because power is like kind of to claim, I mean, not really, but... But... Uh, um, I accept, right? Angry wasn't gonna kneel, so... It's a, it's that power given back for uh, <laughs> Star is out basically now. Could have opposed this. Mm. And what's the plan with Skagos? Maybe just trigger it number list if you're not winning power anyway. Mm. Okay, doesn't do anything with it. Oh, but we do trigger the hollow hill, so finding anything useful here or not. So it should have been 9-5, for instance, with uh, defending properly. But it is the two-claim power swing that uh, didn't happen. It should have been 7-7 seven, seven here. Take another kindly man, I don't think that's what we were looking for. Uh, dupes mm -hmm. are useless. I mean, we could play Duharis and then get another kindly man, sure, but uh, uh, there isn't time to put dupes on and then play Morgulis because Stark is on 10. It's gonna be uh, the passive Caitlyn power, at least 12, I think, and uh, then she does her plot phase thing. I mean, if there's a uh, um, river and minstrel, I think it's just over. You get two and two for um, another trigger. Mm -hmm. and another one, I think, pretty much over. <coughs> well. But we do have another two claim plot, and now it's uh, well, going to be three honestly, on three. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how favorable wildfire assault is going to be because there's nothing to absorb claim now. Only three cards in hand. I don't. I don't. Could have Skagos summer to get a reducer or something back, Mira. Yeah, especially if you're gonna Margulis anyway. Now Skagos is in play to be knelt. Skagos needs to kneel, right, to do its thing, so... Yeah. Oh, so you have um, another bishop here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if we, it was 7-7 seven, seven and we had this uh, going military into power, potentially. Um, uh, let's say 7-8 if both players played. Um, yeah. There. So we're going with wildfire first, doesn't matter really, so what are we keeping? We're not keeping kindly man, so we have a dead, dead dupe now, we're keeping Varamir and Jukan uh, and Ghost for the increased strength, could have maybe kept Angu as well. Yeah, wildfire is not fun for us, uh, the only Consolation is that it's definitely not fun for Stark either here. Apart from gaining the two power and getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. But you should definitely need Skagos now because um, you don't want that... Uh, that minstrel coming in. Mm -hmm. Look at Caitlyn grow as well. Can't even intimidate her to have to do a 
humongous military challenge to be able to intimidate her somehow. Mm-hmm. Or have stealth, yeah. of course. You could have stealth though with uh, with Varamir, but then he also wants to get intimidated potentially in that scenario. Too bad we lost Tormund, he would have uh, been great in this game. Discarding Begging Brother and Ocean Road. At the moment, Jakan's winning military alone, but he's just gonna be blanked if he threatens to actually win it. We, we do play Nightmares, we saw that being played. So imagine a Nightmares on uh, Star Recept first action, and then you have enough for Jakan to win. Kill Caitlyn. Then it's a game. <laughs> We're still losing though with just power on uh, Faction Card and, st and Star Recept. Ah, okay. That takes all of our gold, so no more tricks, except for, well, uh, there's still uh, water gardens. But it is uh, a natural Enough intimidate body. Ah, secret pact, yes, reduces. Uh, so there's, there's your uh, minstrel. There was Kagos. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, intimidate on Tormund, and we have stealth on Varamir, right? So we could get Caitlyn. Although 13 for Stark, I mean, we have to stop everything here. Stuff's left standing to do challenges back, especially power challenge. I mean, have to yeah, do one power, power challenge is lower, so you have to push power through. Like to do military first to kill a couple of defenders and then intimidate. If it's possible. Yeah, I think that's the play, right? You do military. <clears throat> and you try to intimidate military. You don't need to intimidate necessarily Caitlyn. If you take stealth on Vladimir, um, then you leave Caitlyn be, you intimidate the other things. And then you put secret pact on Caitlyn, right? Yeah, that, that works. But there is now also a card in Shadows that was just marshaled. Could be another small folk mob. Another mob, yeah. Mira is dead, right? She is, yes. Some are there to resurrect her though? I think this is not too bad now for us. Okay, we do take the power icon. <clears throat> I think we can survive the round and uh, make it closer. Probably don't yeah. have any yeah. other to claim plot to, to follow that with, but okay. Can try. I would say probably... Oof, okay. That is potentially defendable if you have the Okay, yeah, so is he going to be blanked or is he going to be defended? It has to be one of those two. Blanked for yeah. now. Still to claim though. And might have to claim yeah. Summer before he can come back and do his thing. Yeah, or if you kill him. Um... The loyalist, that's... Uh, because you want to keep Minstrel. Okay, so Summer is gonna be killed, that's uh, pretty obvious. What's the other character that's getting killed? Is it gonna be the minstrel? Oh, that is good for you because now you're not so close to just losing next round immediately without pushing power through, but... Yeah. 
Okay, so they are 9 together. If they start past Caitlyn, they should be beating even small folk mob coming in, which it can't now anyway, so... Just uh, do the challenge, intimidate uh, Umber Loyalist if he doesn't defend, and... Um, secret pack on Caitlyn, right? And we're fine. Yeah. Sounds you can like do okay. um, Intrigue as well. Okay, you she, she defends it. Doesn't matter, yeah, I guess. It's two claims, so she def she's gonna defend the Intrigue for sure, yeah. Yeah, but you're still... Um... Eight minutes left, but I think we might be winning this game now. Do we do intrigue first? Because if she kneels, we can do unopposed power by just starting. Uh, Amber Loyalist instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do know there is a secret back in hand, right? Yes. Okay. okay, that's difficult to keep track of though, right? Um, I mean, it's easy to forget. Easy to forget that he has ambush and gonna come in. So, Smallfolk Mob, one in hand, and Wyman Manderly, second one we've seen lost. So, Stark doesn't defend. Uh, thinks that uh, can uh, attack with Caitlyn back. Yeah, but now this is a good position because. Uh... Start past Caitlyn, you get power, you get to claim power, it's 10-9, you get intimidate. Well, not enough to intimidate her, she's gonna be standing and have to put, no. put, put the secret back yeah, on her. Yeah, and then put secret back on her, it's, I think, a good position, right? Still it's losing though, but uh, yeah, it is 10-9 and we go yeah, another but, round, you and know, then look we can aggro. Uh, I mean, there's not even... Um, there's not even available um, a minstrel anymore. Yeah. I think if you weren't going to defend Intri, why kill minstrel and not Tumblr list? Yeah, that's true. Because, right, if you don't do that, I mean, you just. Okay, I mean, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, so here's the point. I remember watching uh, this in, while we were in France, and <laughs> it was difficult to watch. This is uh, this is horrible. I mean, mm -hmm. the line of play was um, very obvious here, but this is just going to be defended now. Doesn't even use the stat to start past Caitlyn, so he just, she can just defend with 10, right? And just stand straight back. Well, defends with both. Just in case there's a strength boost. So, it's two claim power that's not gonna happen, and there was a two claim power last round that wasn't gonna happen. And look look at how um, how close it would have been, and look at the board state. I didn't think this game was going well, but we did kind of aggro Stark into not having that many options, but uh, missing the two claim power challenges. Giving a card away as well. Uh, Stark still can't do anything back, but um, she's now there to win dominance as well, right? Then time is gonna expire, so next round is the last. We have yeah. to go first and, and kill them. Right. And you do have to actually put that secret pact on Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we have to kill them, and if uh, power from Caitlyn is lost, we can still win the game. Could have won it without killing Caitlyn, that's the thing though. Wow, 
Ouais. What could the card in shadows be? <laughs> Skagos is back next round, right? Skagos can, well, this round even. Skagos can just trigger on Amber Loyalist. You don't discard anything and you draw two. Maybe you wait for the plot phase next round so you get the power as well, which is gonna be 15 anyway, so. Yeah, but it, can... it could happen that uh, he won't be there anymore in the plot phase, though. I mean, if we have Morghulis, we can win, right? Oh, no, we can't. Can we win? Yeah, because Caitlyn isn't getting saved. Well, maybe the last card is Family Duty Honor. Mm -hmm. Although then we are without claim, and uh, it would be, what, uh, 6 for us and still seven, still 9 for uh, Stark. So we still lose even if we can Morghulis, or we'd need to... We none of those challenges also. Get Dark Star. Let's see the plots. Do we have any more two claim stuff? We can throw Angu away, he's dead already. You win or you die? Yeah, Wildfire wasn't the best here in hindsight, right? Uh, Stark needed the whiteboard to not get aggroed. Mm -hmm. And it is the warrior. You win or you die. So we have three back to back uh, two claim plots. So we, we would yeah, want for sure. Those, if both of those two claim powers went through, that would be. Yeah, we'd win for sure, I think. Well, now we can't win with uh, just swinging the power. We have to kill her. Yeah, but honestly, also considering that if he didn't kill the minster, he would still just win. Even if it was now 10, I think minstrel do. Well, if it was 10, um, well, to claim power going through, for instance, would be 12 right now mm. for Stark and then minstrel. Uh, yeah, that's 14, and yeah, and another Skagos, on, if you get another character, just passively wins with Caitlyn, I think. So you're kind of right why, there. Why, why, why has not, that not happened yet? Oh, the Skagos uh, straight win, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Sparrows is available as well, and she's the 7, right? Yeah, even waited for... Cards to be discarded. <laughs> hmm. There we are. Yeah, I feel like this was a missed opportunity here, so it's gone to two now instead of uh, three. Yeah, but it's hard. I understand that um, this was supposed to be played by David and um, Katarina stepped in, so it's um. That's uh, made up though. No, no. David, here. David was gonna play the the game that Ivaila ended up playing actually. Oh, okay, okay. I think I think well, it's been a while, but I think that's the case. Katrina was always going to play this. Um, okay. uh, to be fair, I mean, uh, Martel Greenside, that's rough. But the, the game, the game was uh, brotherhood. Right? It looks like brotherhood. Yeah, except you don't get the brotherhood triggers. You get the Greenside triggers, which are not bad because filtered out some superior claim and banging brothers and stuff. So it's it's not uh, like it's a completely useless agenda. It's better than nothing, right? Because it does have da a yes. downside. So it, it did something, but um, it's not our best deck, and uh, Stark didn't uh, play magnificently well in this one either, to be fair. So <laughs> Stark could have mm. uh, uh, made uh, some other choices to to win even with our uh, perfect play, I think. So. Well, Possibly. So that's game four. We have four more, I think. Uh, not sure if we have the last one recorded, but uh, three more at least uh, to come. So thank you for joining us on this one, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.